So this video is going to show you exactly why and how you want to optimize your LinkedIn company page and how to get hundreds of clicks to your website or wherever you decide to push the traffic to from literally just the LinkedIn page. So let's jump in. Firstly, last year I got 200 button clicks, which is not very many. And I'll be honest, I didn't put much effort into this. I'm going to be putting a lot more effort into this. 703 unique users. And that's a crazy crazy conversion rate was that that's like nearly one in three or one in four um 25 of the people who went to my company page ended up clicking on the button my button leads to my website which is this is for i run a few different things but this is for my linkedin ads agency so the content i was creating was basically getting clicks to convert so let's jump into a couple of reasons why the first reason actually is to appear on search so if you look over here just was in the last 30 days my this page this linkedin um, company page doing linkedin ads so this is the page here it's scale b2b companies with linkedin ads kin.co um this page ranked is ranking somehow in linkedin search so when people are typing certain things and i can't i don't think i've got analytics to see this but i guess people are typing in something like linkedin ads or something kin is appearing in that search and I, just in the past 30 days, I got 154 people coming to that company page, discovering me from that. And I'll be honest with you, I really am putting very little effort into this. So I believe we can grow this to a lot more. And this is really powerful. So the first reason why you want a good company page is to start appearing in the search results on certain keywords. Um, the second reason is to get leads. So with LinkedIn, as I showed you just a minute ago, I had 200 people click on my custom link, which if you look here again, this custom link is visit my website and that will go to my website and people from my website then might convert to phone calls, which is really cool. So they end up here and they might click on the speak to us page. It's also part of point number three, why you want to do this is part of your marketing mix. So people who are seeing you on LinkedIn, seeing so you've discovering you in different ways, maybe going to your company page. They also want to see that you have a good company page. This is kind of just to show authority and to show that you're like a, you know, a company that's actually built and you want this number to be much bigger than, you know, one or 10 or something. This is tiny. Again, I feel quite embarrassed by having so little and how little effort I've put into it. But even the results of such little effort is I'm really happy with it, you know, I feel like there's so much potential here. So let's jump into what we could be the steps to make your company page look really good to get leads and to get customers ultimately that's what we want so the first step is to make it look professional so you need to add images um, which is basically you need to make sure you have the banner and this part and you can do this all here so you need to be adding images which is there, you need to have a good title, you need to explain what you are, and this is probably helping with the SEO, the LinkedIn ads agency, that's adding a lot of stuff, and then you need to add your button. So where does your button go? With the buttons, you can go to like register to something, sign up, view product, you can have different things, you can lead them to different places, you can lead them just to straight to a, like a lead gen landing page. But another thing you can actually add is lead gen forms directly on your page, which is really cool. I haven't really been doing this, but then it just like a LinkedIn lead gen form will pop up when they click on that, and you, they can add their details because they want to discover more about something. So you can add a LinkedIn lead gen form on that, which is great. So make sure you got your house in order. It's looking good. You have your banner, you have your image, you have your title, you, you have something what's going on. And so make sure it's looking good. Second thing I would do is add a bunch of content. So it's like the thing you need to understand is LinkedIn company pages are notoriously hard to build. They're much easier to build your personal profile because the algorithm push, you want to take this seriously. What you need to do is you need to come from a multimedia perspective, in my opinion. You want to make this like a hub. So basically, you want to start posting a lot of video docs like just content that is just super useful and you want to make it a hub around the topic you're talking about. So if it's recruitment and AI, if it's whatever your topic is, whatever you're selling, like if your B2B SaaS company is like some kind of tool to in Google um, Sheets or something like that, then you want to be talking about optimizing Google Sheets and all this topic that people might be interested in. Mine in this specific case is LinkedIn ads. So I'm just talking about LinkedIn ads nonstop. I'm trying to, I would need to make this more like a LinkedIn ads hub where I just add so much helpful content i'm adding like tools you can download cool stuff it's just really really helpful stuff so the point is add a lot of helpful content and i would suggest you need to be posting every single day post daily five days a week 
and be as useful as possible. That's the only way you're going to build out your content. Like if you go to my content that I have here, um, you know, this was push, pushed by ads, but I'll go into that in a minute. For example, this one only got 171 views, but this one, for example, got 1,155 impressions. And you can see like loads of people engaging with it, reactions, click-through rate. Once some person even reposted it, this is based, these, are, I'm really impressed by these stats. And this is based on um, not so, not, not even like pushing it that hard. And when I was posting, you can see I stopped posting for a really long time. But when I was posting, I was having like, what's this? 190 page views in one, what's that? One month. So that's in this 100 page views, 188, 81 page views. This is awesome. This is really nice part of your marketing mix. And if you take it really seriously, you could build this out to a few hundred page views, LinkedIn profile page views, LinkedIn company page views a month, which is awesome because as you can see from my stats, a lot of those people were converting into button clicks, which I loved. Um, it was, it's really cool stats, which is like, 25% whatever worth turning into button clicks. So once you've got a bunch of content there, the third thing I would do is every month in you click and utilize this invite connections, you can send 230 credits or 250 invites every month. And from that, that's how the majority of people build out their company page. Um, they invite every month, they're consistently inviting 250 to their company page to, to, to follow. So month by month, maybe, I don't know, like, let's say 25 people actually connect. It's not a huge amount, but you're building that each month. Just make the most of it and make sure you're clicking on the invite connections every single month. So just even just to build it up so you look good. So you need to, the fourth thing I would do, so this is number three, but I'd say the fourth thing you need to do is start posting from your personal profile. So here I am, I'm posting every day at the boat from my personal profile. And I'm getting the personal profile will get a lot more traffic. And what happens is a lot of people from that will actually go click on your profile and try to work out who, what you are, what you do, how you can help. And from your personal profile, they end, they'll end up clicking on like your company page, and they'll end up clicking here. So they'll there'll be a lot of traffic will be coming from that to your company page. And what I highly, highly recommend is don't just do it yourself. If you're a company with a few different employees, try to get two or three people who are posting from their personal profiles branded. I have a lot of videos coming out. Make sure it's branded. Make sure you've got your house in order on your personal profile as well. And make sure they're posting really helpful content. And I can, there's loads of other videos coming on my YouTube channel of what helpful content means and how to do that really, really well. But make sure they're posting daily. And if you have three, four, five people doing this, the traffic as a community, as a company you're creating is large. And a lot of those will end up on your website, on your company page, then on your website. And it just creates this really good marketing mix and it builds out your company page as well. So a company page has been notoriously hard to build. You need to create multimedia. And it's just, I would say, as part of the marketing mix to make you look authoritative and more Good. There are some amazing companies who have done an amazing job at pushing their company pages. And you never know, I have a feeling in the future, the company page might become more important and the algorithm might change, start pushing these company pages more. Um, because I feel like company pages have been suppressed by LinkedIn for a long time, but I feel like it's something that's going to come more. So if you want to follow me about LinkedIn, how to grow your LinkedIn, how to get leads and grow your LinkedIn social profile, subscribe and hit see that playlist that's probably popping up now